we recruited a double agent of the CIA by the name of Larry Harrison, who brought this to light. He came to me and he said, hey, he said, uh, you know, the, the, the CIA has been funding this drug war and uh, there are so-called uh, DEA agents that are not DEA agents. Uh, they are really CIA double agents in your agency. Uh, and, and I can identify one. And I said, what do you mean? He says, remember the first time that you tried to contact me and you contacted me uh, in Mexico and you wanted me to come in to be interviewed? And I said, yes. And he says, well, remember that one guy that showed up from Mexico City, Dale Stinson, that, 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 that was supposed to be part of my interview team? And I said, yeah. Well, the reason I didn't, I didn't cooperate with you when I left the room was because this guy I knew was not DEA, that he was actually CIA because I know him from the CIA. And I said, holy shit. Wow. I said, so Dale Stinson is not one of our guys? He says, no. And I knew Dale Stinson. He's one of hundreds of double agents that the, that the CIA has infiltrated your agency with because the CIA wants to monitor your, your uh, investigations and operations because they are funding the, the, the war in Nicaragua with drug money. And you were stopping that. Lords. And you were basically stopping that by seizing the money through the illegal wiretaps and the so-called informants that weren't really informants. Is that right? Exactly. Exactly. You're, you're getting the, you're getting it now. Okay. okay. But Lori Doris Harrison was a double agent. He also worked for the CIA, and he came over to the DEA, and he's the one that first tipped, tipped me off that the CIA number one was funding the drug war with uh i mean the nicaraguan war with drug money and number two that we were infiltrated by the cia so he's the one that first brought it to light as a matter of fact they thought he was crazy and uh, after he told me this I, I flew him to washington and they they polygraphed him for three days by the lead polygraph uh operator for the dea and he passed all of the uh all of the polygraph examinations yeah. that we gave him, okay? Then we started to believe this and we started to identify some of these double agents that were working in the DEA. And to make matters really scary, well, we identified Terry Burke, who was the acting director of the DEA as a double agent. And we confirmed that he had come over from the CIA, okay? All, all along, I'm trying to, you know, get, get uh, Felix Rodriguez indicted because Felix Rodriguez was also identified by the three, three witnesses that were at the at Camarena's interrogation and torture location. And they identified Felix Rodriguez, not by name, because he had an undercover name. Uh, they identified him as a guy by the name of Max Gomez right. as being one of Kiki's interrogators. When I started, I started investigating who this Max Gomez is, I find out that Max, Max Gomez is just an undercover name for Felix Rodriguez, okay? Then I do research on Felix Rodriguez, and I find out that Felix Rodriguez uh, had been the guy that had captured Che Guevara for the CIA in Bolivia. Then I find out that this guy was a major uh, operator in Operation Phoenix in, in uh, Vietnam. The Phoenix program was created by the CIA and its purpose was to kill and terrorize. In Vietnam, I was forced to do business with a police chief who was a sadistic uh, mutilator of, uh, of prisoners. He liked to carve them up and throw the remains in the river. And he was completely paid and propped up by the CIA. His whole career depended on one, controlling that operation so that the CIA needed him, and two, uh, the CIA propping him up and funding him. And uh, he did his... Uh, knife work in a CI safe house. 